What's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Nicholas is actually in intro with me, kind of. He's behind me. But thank you guys so much for all of the love on our last video. Seriously, that was like the most over overwhelming response I feel like we've had from a video because within the first 24 hours we had so many comments and so many people actually interacting with what I said to comment below and showing so much love for us. So that just really meant a lot and it motivated me to film again just a few days later. So I'm very excited. I don't have an agenda for this video. I'm just going to take you along, show you what we're doing today. Right now it's about 9.30 and we are starting off by trying to get as much in the mail as we can. So Nicholas is pressing the bandanas, Venny's in the other room flipping bandanas, and then I'm going to personalize the bandanas. Um, but yes, we are, today's Thursday, so we're getting ready for the launch that's on Saturday and we're just very excited about everything coming. We actually picked out even more patterns so now there's like 25 or 26 new bandanas launching which we need to learn how to just stick with what we have but when I see new things that are super cute I just can't help myself. And Nicholas actually went to the store and picked out some fabrics. I did. I went to the new Joann's. <laughs> So we had like our old Joann's, but then they opened up a new one not that far down the road, but it was like two times the size. It's in an old Toys R Us that I actually used to go to when I was a kid. Um, and I went and explored there and just walked around. I picked out some fabric that we already had and like needed and just were low on. But then we got three, I think, new fall patterns. Well, one I think we might have had last year, but there's some really good fall patterns that are coming um, on top of the stuff that you guys have already seen. So let's see what he is doing. Ball is life. This is one of our best sellers, which of course, ball is life for a lot of dogs. Particularly Holly so, and Gracie. Oh, also tell them, I don't know if you guys noticed or if we showed you, but this is the old iron. So we bought a new iron. It was super fancy and we've reverted back to this iron. This one's from Costco and the fancy iron was super heavy. And what else didn't you like about it? Well, I just like the buttons weren't great and I don't know, it just... It was like leaking water. It was yeah, it was leaking leaky. and it was just super heavy. And when you're ironing like all day, heaviness is not good. So we pretty much like this one. This one has a broken button on it too. But for the most part, it does a good job. We also have been using this squirt bottle um, to help get creases out instead of like the water that's on this. Yeah. Um, so they use the steam feature, but for water, they are actually using this instead of that. When I'm pressing the bandanas, I'm using the steam. This feature. one sold because it was on Instagram sale. So yes, we do fun things on our story sometimes. Also love the lemons. Holly is actually wearing the lemons today. I have a funny question. What? How many likes would this video have to get for you to do a daily vlog? Oh, a lot. How many? Okay, so we do daily vlogs in December. We've done Vlogmas. Twice. I think we successfully did it once. I think we, were really close we attempted to, to do Vlogmas the first year and didn't do all 25 days. And then last year we did do it. It is a lot of work, especially with all the business stuff and then life and then filming and editing and getting everything up the next day is just so much work. So it's definitely not in the near future for me. I would either need someone who edits them for us or I would need someone to do every other aspect of my life, so this was the only thing I had to do. Well, how many likes? I'm not... A million, like... <laughs> a million? No, make it real. I'm like not that. doing that. How long are you thinking? How, how many, many days? How many days in a row? For uh, life? <laughs> not for life, maybe for like two or three months. I feel like I wouldn't know what to film. That would be the problem, is how do you know what to film every single day? because our days here are very repetitive, which everyone who has started working for us has realized that it's the same things over and over and over again, and I think that could get boring to film. So, maybe one day, but definitely not this week. 5,000 <laughs> I know likes. what else also I wanted to talk about. Nicholas, do you want to come over and be a part of this segment? He has no idea what this is about to be. The segment? The segment. So, someone commented, not on the last video, but the other day, like one of the recent comments, was how much, or how long it took until we got paid from Tales of Pup. So I oh. thought that would be an interesting thing to talk about. You guys love knowing about stuff. A lot of you guys are business owners, or aspiring business owners, and like to know about this kind of stuff. So, we try to share our knowledge with you. 
Nick's wondering what I'm gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've never taken a paycheck from Tales of Pup. Yes, we have. How many? Just uh, a few? Yeah, a few. Okay. For the most part, we don't get paid from Tales of Pup. We pay our employees. Yeah, Danielle, this is not the best question for you to answer because you don't deal with the finances. We pay our employees and we don't pay ourselves very much, hardly at all. We try to keep as much money in the business as possible at this point. So we're coming up on our two year anniversary of Tales Up Pup next month. Um, and that will really be probably when we start to think about actually getting a pay like reoccurring a, paycheck. a reoccurring yeah. paycheck mm -hmm. where right now um, we've taken some, when I guess that's what it. you're saying, to pay yes. our bills. Um, and that was basically what we were doing. Um, but we keep a lot of the money in the business so that we can grow. We got this place, we got employees and we pay rent and pay them. So until we were all the way on a loop of knowing how things were going, now we are starting to be able to take, like take a salary, take a salary, but we haven't had a salary. We've had some paychecks, but not yes. a salary. How about that? Yes. Okay. So yeah, for the most part, for the first two years, no salary, a few paychecks, but. And one of the things with that too is that month to month can be so different in the beginning that you just don't want to put yourself like on a salary. And like, if it's gonna be like a month that you're, there's not that much left over profit, like you're still paying yourself. It's like, no, you should try to keep that in the business and not like have the business suffer just so that you can have extra money in your bank account. Like as long as you can survive, the way we look at it, we haven't been doing like any traveling. It's we have our mortgage and we have food and we have a few other things besides that. And we live extremely cheaply, cheaply right now. I also wanted to say in general on this topic, this is how we do it and this is not how you have to do it. And if you have your own business, your finances and your situation and everything's gonna be so different. So we were just telling you what we do, but you guys can do it however you wanna yeah, do it. Every situation is unique. We went into starting out the business with a decent amount of savings knowing that we had no idea how long it was gonna be until we were gonna be making money. We were gonna give ourselves two to three years um, to actually really like get the business kicked off. And fortunately we've been lucky enough to be doing that beforehand yes. within 18 months. But now we are in full go business mode. go <laughs> mode. We are, I guess I can say that we're being successful. Yeah, we're being pretty successful. That. So we are going to start having paychecks for us, which will finally feel so rewarding because you want to get paid for your hard work yeah. and we want to get paid consistently and have stuff coming in. Yes, and be able to do something fun for your hard work paying off. Yeah. So maybe we'll go on a trip once you're allowed to go on trips. Yeah, COVID is making it difficult for yes. all the traveling. I don't know, piece. I feel like you guys know this, but we set a goal to, well, I mostly set a goal and he's married to me. So to go to Australia before we have kids and we want to have kids in two to three years or start thinking about kids in two to three years. So that's kind of our timeline of when we want to go to Australia. So that's kind of my goal, work hard, have enough money, have enough vacation time to go to Australia in the next two to three years before we have a kid. That would be nice. So there's our goal. We said it out loud to you guys. So we gotta make it happen. So he will continue pressing these now. These are all gonna get in the mail today. Thanks for being a part of my segment. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. Let us know another question you have for us in the comments below then maybe I'll film tomorrow or the next day because be, I'll be it can motivated. Be a business question, it can be a video idea that you want to see or something behind the scenes you want to see. It can really be anything. A video request that we've seen a lot was about Pinterest and I am going to do that, but I feel like that's a sit down video and I need Nick to set up the studio. So that's why I haven't filmed about Pinterest yet. Yeah. But that one will be coming at some point. <laughs> now, let's see the girls. What kind of mischief are you causing? Gracie's getting a haircut today. Are you excited? I feel I'm like nervous. I feel like they have something that they're not supposed to have. Or is Benny in here? Oh. <laughs> they like to follow me around. Yes, they do. So Benny's packaging orders up, getting things in the mail. I peeled some vinyl for the bananas that Nick is pressing. I better turn this on. Oh, also we have been getting some questions about why I switched from the um, press that I used in the video that I made to this one. And the simple answer is because this one is white and the other one was black and I wanted this one to match. So that's why we have this one. 
Here's some bananas already ready. Swayze's getting, that's a funny dog name, isn't it? What is it? Swayze. <laughs> They're getting a few bandanas. Super cute. And lots of fun things shipping out. And the girls will continue having tug of war match. So also Nicholas brought our camera today to photograph. There's a bunch of things that we have that aren't even on the website because we needed photographs. So hopefully he gets around to that today or tomorrow. Then we can come back in here and let's see what else is going on today. Not much, just preparing I feel like. There's his list of things he needs to photograph. Have they seen these whiteboards? I think so. We put these whiteboards in, so. Well, it's the hiccups. Holly has been trying to steal toys out of the store, so. No, no, look, that toy fell again. Come on. Well, you can just set it a different way. It's actually a different one that fell. Yeah. Which is weird. These literally never have fallen. And then this morning, they've all fallen. Oh, and I made these yesterday. Maybe there's a ghost. So I put these ones in the store. I love the blush glitter with the Tails Up Pup. I think that one is super cute. And then we've had this one for a while. Super cute with the dog mom. So these are dishwasher safe, super durable, and super cute. And um, on the website, you can actually customize. You can pick the color and the sticker that you want, which is super fun. Also, we finally got this set up back here. So we put our bags here. We put the little bags here. This is the most commonly used bag. Then we put big bags down here. We got our tissue paper. I have some information if Venny or Nick don't know answers to people's questions. I also got two frames. We're gonna put picture frames with information above with the collar sizing and pricing so that because that is a commonly asked question, um, like what are the sizes of these and then how much do they cost? So all the information will be above the ladders, which will be really nice. Nick is in here. This is our studio. Photographing away. This is his pile of colors. So this is the light box. We can link this down below. It's great for product photography because as you can see, the whole background's gonna be white. Can you show them a picture that you took? Yeah. And you can you definitely use a cell phone. Go, yeah, that. Oh, that's good. Wait, my camera. Wait, go back, that one's good. So, very white and bright, perfect for product photography. Almost no editing needs to happen to that. It's really nice if you can have like a flash like this and put it on top, then it really gives a nice overall white spread throughout the photo. So it does have a hole up here. I think we've shown this before, but I guess Nick likes to just go in the inside. And it, the reason I like to go on the inside is to get the flash in there. Okay. If I just oh, yeah. do this, the flash is Yeah. This thing is plugged in, so there are lights in there. And it's just super handy. It was pretty affordable for how well it does too. So he is yeah, our little photographer. Awesome. He is so good at this. Way better than I am. A lot of tutorials. Yeah. So he's also going to photograph these wine glasses. And then maybe after he can take a picture of me and Gracie in front of one of these walls for the feed. That'd be fun. Yeah. This is the best wallpaper. I know you guys have seen it, but for those of you that haven't. This is our little wall. Let's come to it up close. Okay. Then I have to stand up. It's so cute. The up cute. Close and then, get your pink and white. Yeah, I think we'll take our picture in front of that one. I need to film in here more, because these are cute. And that's basically everything, I feel like. Orders, how much money we get paid, and a Thursday at Tales of Pup. So as I said, comment down below a question you have for Nick and I, because that would be a good way to get us to film, is if we have a main point to talk about, something fun to talk about, really any idea, that will definitely help us. So let us know. Um, also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. I noticed a lot of people commenting on the video, video, the last video, weren't even subscribed. What so the heck, guys? Come on. Please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Yes. And it's free, and it's easy, and 
Also, go follow Tales of Hope on Instagram. And we love the comments. See you next time. Bye. Bye.